Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pet Simulator 99. We're in today's video. We're going to be opening a ton. Okay, by, by a ton, I mean a thousand of the new rainbow mini chests that are currently in the game. Because in the blog post, Preston said open for the most epic in all caps and bold rewards. And personally, that sounds pretty good to me. As most of the other gift bags and large gift bags don't really pack a punch anymore in terms of opening it. But that comes out of catch of these right now are costing about 1.26 million apiece according to the wrap. And that's over a billion diamonds I have to spin to make all this possible. So before we go deep diving and purchasing a boatload of these chests i wanted to see i wanted to do a little afk test for one hour to see is it possible how many rainbow mini chests can we just get from farming because it does say it's found as rare random drops and in the forever pack now obviously the forever pack is over here in the store and while i'm not going to sit around spending a bajillion robux to collect these potential mini chests like i don't even see any of the mini chests right here and so we're going to go ahead and put on our best loadout we do have Wait, do we even have any of the new for or treasure hunter? Okay, so we do have two of the treasure hunters. And then, oh my gosh, we have we have two of the treasure hunter nine celestial potions. You know what? For the video, wait. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I gotta go combine some potions. What the heck? Isn't that how you, how you level up your potions? I think so. Yeah, it is. Dang it, man. We got a lot of potions ahead of us. Okay, there we go. Potions Mastery Level 50. Thank you very much. And there we go. Now we can put on one of the Treasure Hunter potions. Let's see. Does that make a big difference? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it does. Jeez. All right, again, we're going to leave this running for the next hour. Do a little AFK test because the, the hope is I can get at least one rainbow mini chest just to see if it's actually possible to get it by grinding because, again, these are really expensive. I know I'm going to have to just waste a lot of gems on the rest of them that we're not able to get. Just, just giving me at least one would be pretty nice so uh i'm gonna leave this running and catch you guys in about an hour well 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 i may have lied i said i was gonna do an hour but it was two hours. Holy crap, dude. Okay, stop, stop auto farming. There's so much stuff going on. All right, get our last books. Now we have 7,524 drops. We also did manage to get a few rank rewards, which I do appreciate because getting a rank 20, what, sixes now is going to suck. But I, I don't know. I'm kind of curious. I, I'm going to I guess we didn't get any. But the only way to see rainbow. No, we didn't get a single one. I mean, it is worth a million gems if you are able to secure one. So I kind of understand why they're super rare. But after two hours of AFKing, we didn't get a single one. So that means we got to go shell outs. Hopefully not too much gems. I mean, I'd like to stay under 1.3 billion gems. We have two billion. We, we have more than enough for this operation. But I'm just... I'm just hoping it's not going to be anything too insane. All right, and let the buying begin. I hope it doesn't take too long, but just to give you guys a reference of how long it takes to uh, to buy 1,000 of an item in Pet Simulator 99, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll record this whole time lapse it and let you all know. That took way longer than I anticipated, but as you can see, a thousand new items, a little bit over. I think we have a little bit more than a thousand of these rainbow mini chests, and well, it took us about 1.2 billion gems to get there at the end of the day. I did also pick up some treasure hideout keys, so that's a few of uh, the brand new items that we have in our inventory, but where is a rainbow? A thousand twenty-four worth 946 million gems. I mean, we spent 1.2 billion, but as you can see, the price of these is rapidly dropping, which makes me think they're not actually that great. And so let's go ahead and get crack and open some of these chests. We'll open one at first, because I think it's basically just charms, potions, and books. So we're really hoping to get either some rare charms, some rare potions, or some rare enchants. And luckily, this is something that we can open multiple at once. And, oh, maybe it's not smart to do that. Whoa! Wait, lucky huh that was what that was so fast 
We already managed to make profit. We are, okay, we already had a Lucky Eggs 9 book. And it looks like we got, geez, a Damage Potion 9. Maybe this is actually pretty epic rewards. Because that's, that's what I was wondering. I was like, how epic are these rewards going to truly be? But the only problem is they opened another, another 9. Holy crap, Treasure Hunter 9. We're actually kind of making some sort of profit on these. So we spent, okay, 1.2 billion. If we can get back something even sort of close to that would be pretty sick. Dude, these rewards are actually kind of solid. I I'm a little shocked. All right, let's go ahead and open 15, get down to the 1,000 mark. And what do we get? Dude, I can't tell. Bunch of nine. There we go. Luck, wait, lucky 10? Coins 10 or coins 9? Jeez, look at all these, like, level 10 items. Another coins 9. Okay, some coin 8. Treasure Hunter 9. Yeah, we are actually going to be super stacked. Ah, see, our charms game so far absolutely sucks. We only have four agility charms and a bonus charm, so maybe... We can get super duper luck and get something like a like a royalty charm. But I'm not sure if there's a way for me to actually like tally up the total value of everything we get from these chests. But we just opened 25 million worth of these rainbow mini chests. So far, a bunch of mid, lucky egg seven. Ooh, coins uh, nine, lucky nine. I do, uh, what was that, lucky? Yeah, lucky nine as well, which is probably the most valuable thing in here. Coins eight, pretty mid. And then I guess we can just go through and see what's new, what's glowing, another lucky 10, jeez. Really though, I kind of, it'd be nice to get a nice juicy charm, but I, I have a feeling that's not gonna happen. So let's go and open 100, over 75 of these to get down to 900. <laughs> Holy crap. You can see we have 171 new chance, 180 two new potions and we get all oh, a tap power nine ew man what are these rewards ew dude oh oh dude we get a charm that's worth 247 gems but we do manage to get a bunch of damage potions as well so honestly it doesn't seem to be oh my gosh another lucky eggs nine it really doesn't seem to be that bad of value because the rewards in these are actually pretty solid we've opened on 120 million gems worth of items but we're sitting on probably like 30 million diamonds worth of rewards which at the end of the day isn't too terrible so i think we're just gonna keep opening around 100 at a time like that right there see if we could spot anything that comes rolling through oh, another lucky eggs 10 nice a diamonds nine is that the first diamonds nine we've had it might actually be oh no it's our uh, fourth diamonds nine that sound. Oh, we got two. Wait, two ultimates. Wait, can I see these roll through? Wait, ultimates? I didn't know there was any in here. Maybe some valuable ones? Another diamonds nine. Thank you very much. Wait, I didn't know we'd get any ultimates. Okay, looks like... Oh, no. Oh, I think I already had a TNT shower. Or maybe not because it's only level one. I've never used it before. It's kind of unfortunate because I don't even know which ones I got. We already had ground pound. Maybe I just got two pet surges, which... They're only 90,000 each, and that's not that amazing. Yeah, we are getting an absurd amount of these books. It'd be kind of crazy if we managed to get, like, some exclusive, but I don't really think... I don't think that's possible. Got another 100 rainbow chest down the drain. We get another ultimate, and it's a pet surge. Yeah, that's probably what we got uh, before. That That's pretty unfortunate. What about, what about charms, though? Charms? Uh, oh, okay. We got a lightning charm. 935 gems. We're making it back. We're making all of our money back slowly but surely. Oh, my gosh. We have 15 million gems worth of Lucky Egg 7. That's insane. Uh, we have 151 coin 7 books. Oh, my goodness. Anything else? We have a, hundred, a ton of coins 8. And just one extra crit 9. Interesting. We're also getting some charm stones, which I guess we could just turn around and open those charm stones. Like, there's, there's nothing saying I can't. And a bunch of mini chests as well. Yeah, let's open a few charm stones. Get anything good? Absolutely not. I think this time we're going to open 200 chests to just give it a bit of a whirl. See if we can't get a little bit lucky. And bada bang, bada boom. Let's see. Can we notice anything rolling? We've got so many mini chests from this. Oh, a diamond's nine. Uh, strong pets nine? Yeah. I don't know what I was expecting, but, uh, we have accumulated an absolutely library full of these books and enchants, which I guess I could go and use and turn them into the enchant, I think it's essence, and then upgrade them for eight hours if I wanted to. Honestly, I was expecting some sort of, like, maybe, like, super high roller reward of this, but so far it doesn't seem like that's actually the case. Like, we're making our money back, uh, on some of these, 
but mostly we're just spending an absurd amount of gems on these chests to get books that in the future yeah i can upgrade this to a coins 10 and whatnot probably whenever the next update comes out but uh, we've got no cocktails i believe which i think is pretty interesting and you know what we're just gonna let the last 300 of these rip open because i don't think we're gonna be missing out on anything special if we just open it 100 at a time And that's how you burn through 1.2 billion gems in Pet Simulator 99. Let's see. One last roll. Get a lucky nine. Coin nine. What else can we snag? Oh, that was... Uh, oh, yeah, we got some more roll nits. A mini chest. Uh, coins nine. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, listen. These rewards are good. If you... If you happen to get one of these, you could you can crack one open. But I, I I guess in my mind, these are just a little underwhelming because at the end of the day, we probably lost around 70% of the gems we invested. I mean, we, we got a ton of random books here and we could definitely sell each one off. Okay, may, maybe not. Maybe we only lost around like 60, 50, 60%, which is still a, a, a quite a chunk of change. It definitely seems like these chests are way more skewed towards enchants rather than potions. One last ultimate it's another pet surge and charm we're gonna get oh we do get three glittering charms at the very end which are worth something i guess and everything else is pretty much worth a whole lot of nothing so i'm glad i did this though hopefully you guys don't have to because man oh man i wish i just bought a bunch of pets instead with those gyms but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as always if you did don't forget to drop a like subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in the next one deuces